So here's the guys right box here and welcome back to some more MotoGP 2019 the mod for the MotoGP 18 game and we are here we're going to be doing a race as Johan Zarco highly requested on the KTM we're going to be doing it at the French Grand Prix his home Grand Prix of course at the Le Mans circuit so let's not waste any time let's get straight into it I will be starting the career mode very soon so do give the video a like if you are excited for that career mode so let's get straight into this race right then here we are on the grid we're going to be heading into this race from the back of the grid as uh, usual as expected we've got Marquez, Dovi, then Rossi on the front row and on the second row there in sixth place is Jorge Lorenzo on that Honda so let's see what we can do there we go taking a look at the front row gonna be getting going any second now here we go on the KTM first time riding this full factory KTM See, we get ourselves a decent launch. There we go. Pretty good launch. And we're going to head straight past that Tech 3 KTM. And we're going to get ourselves into a little battle as we're weaving our way in the pack. Had to slam on the brakes to make a bit of contact with Benaya. On the brakes. So oh, we've got everyone coming around our outside. We get shoved up the inside. Lots of contact there. No room at all. And we're now oh, trying to find our way. Uh, onto the track as Cotteraro there on that new Yamaha satellite team go 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 on this KTM good job up into P12 and now Cotteraro is still on that Yamaha doing pretty well actually oh my god that has cost us a lot of time in contact with the Suzuki at the inside right this has been a bit of a sketchy start to this Grand Prix as we go very very deep the brakes on this KTM come on where are you oh we found ourselves overtaken by about six bikes <laughs> there which is uh, okay interesting so we're back with our teammate now Paul Spargaro come on late on the brakes took it into turn nine at the chicane bring it back round there we go we slotted back into P12 let's see if we can hunt these guys down we're on 100% difficulty so it's going to be challenging on this KTM as you can see the brakes again just not working for me brakes just don't want to work so got to get used to these KTM brakes of which aren't as good as maybe what I'm used to on a Yamaha or a Honda or something like that. Right, decent run around there. Okay, so P12, I'll take that. I want to get into the top 10 at least on this KTM. Get ourselves some decent points. Going to turn 2, heavy on the brakes, into turn 3 and 4, even though actually you'd think this is turn 1. Decent run out of there. Under the bridge, come on, turn five into turn six. We can start to line ourselves and move up. Underneath Quattararo, if we can just put the power down, which we're not able to. Quattararo getting away on that Yamaha. Oh, bit of contact there. We go turn eight of the inside. Maybe this time we can make it stick, which we can't. Can't get the move done on Quattararo there, but here we go. This is our opportunity. Really, I want to be on the inside. But it's okay, I'll just outbreak him. Outbreak him, tuck it in. Oh, we don't manage to do that clean at all. Right, these brakes, man. Come on, brakes. Do something for me. Finally, in the last races, uh, well, it wasn't the last one. The last one would have been Rossi. But when the video where we did Andrea Iannone on that Aprilia, it worked really nicely round there at Assen. Got a really nice result for Aprilia. And Ian One is good on this Aprilia, on this mod. Rossi, 29.3. We do a 29.2, so we are quick. But we've just got to be quicker to be able to catch him. And we're trying up the inside of Ian One. Can't make it stick. He comes back at us. We're on the outside. Comes the inside. Get a decent run out of there. Still side by side with Ian One. Come on. Just paused it there to get ourselves a screenshot. And now we're on the brakes very late into six. So is Ian One. Oh. Got to give him room on the inside. I thought he was going to come back at us there. Not quite able to break in at the board. At the banner above our head. And Ian only straight back up the inside. I'm going to get back at him up the inside. I'm going to try, but no. That was just not going to work. That was really cheeky there, mate. And again, a bit cautious on the brakes. Can we make it stick on the curb? Yes, we can. The curb pulled us around a little bit. Here we go on the power. Show Ian only who's boss. And we're into P10. We're in the top 10 now, officially. And now we can try and make some moves. 
try and get ourselves in the top five. That's another challenge. There's lots of battles going on up ahead, which is good for us. We're up the inside of Jack Miller there. That was a bit aggressive. We're going to have to give him the space back. Then we go give him the place back. We're going to have to go again. I'm not going to do anything in the final corner. I'm going to save it. Save it. Wait, wait, wait. Get ourselves a good exit. A really good exit if we can. Decent exit, but that Ducati is just too quick out of the corners. And he's too quick in a straight line. Look at him going out after that Suzuki. Going to go around the outside. It will become the inside for the next one. Oh, so close. Do a bit of a cutback. Go, 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 go. Come on, what a run. We get two in one corner effectively there just by getting that. Oh, they're back at us. Jack Miller straight back up our inside. And look at Lorenzo. Poor old Lorenzo in P7. P7. We've run deep. Oh, poor old me. Oh, that is horrendous. We lost two places in that corner. God's sake. Can I get him back? Can I get him back? Can try. Getting the cut back might work for us here. Oh, forever just battling these two. Here we go. Brakes on the brakes on the brakes. And we're up. Wow. I wasn't expecting Lorenzo to go so slow through there. We get three in one corner there. Even if Lorenzo was a, he was a bit surprised. We really caught him off guard. He's really struggling around here at Le Mans. The circuit, you'd expect him to do well. And look at the one leading the race. is Valentino. All the Valentino fans going happy today. Let's get Crutch though. Ooh, a bit over the final corner. Not what we want. This KTM lacking in a straight line compared to that Honda. Well, I'm going to watch my inside this time and not having anyone come up for our inside. The AI are deadly round there at turn 7. Straight up the inside they go and you're screwed. Right. Turn 8. A tricky one. Very off camber, especially if you get Rins trying to force the issue. Was it Mir? It's Mir, not even Rins. It's not even Rins, it's Mir. Right. Got to catch back up to Crutchlow. Come on. P7 isn't the best we can do. We can do a lot better than that. But we only got one lap after this one. Wow. Watching our laps count away. Wow. And it looks like it's Petrucci. Or is that Dovi? Oh, the rear keeps going on that curb. Just saw it two corners in a row. Right. Crutchlow. Come on, we can put in a better lap. We were about nine tenths off of our fastest lap, which we've done. We have the fastest lap of the race at 29 flat. Again wide there. Oh, it's all going wrong for us. Right, better run through that. Crutch low. Let's see if we can get sixth place off of Crutch low. Can try it. And look at Marquez up ahead battling with Davizioso. And our rear is still trying to go on us. Still trying to go. Oh, deep. It just doesn't want to stop. Look at us on the curb. That's not where you get the best acceleration. Wow, just couldn't hook it up around there. Crutch low. Come on. He gets out wide. Let's give him a poor exit. Let's see if we can beat him on the brakes. Oh, come on. Give us room. There we go. Well, actually, I don't know why I'm telling him to give me room. I wasn't giving him any room. Wow, that was very aggressive overtake. And Petrucci. Oh, oh, come on. We can get these guys. Come on. Fifth place. Top five finish. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Look at that race ending. Look at that race ending. We were very lucky to stay on the bike. I just got it all hooked up on the curb and it just went wrong. And when, uh, Yeah, forget about the final corner. But there you go. A race of Zarco P6. I would take that on the KTM. A good result. Even though we did it, we were able to win on Aprilia. But I was probably a little bit better at Assen. But... There you have it. We will be doing a career mode very, very soon on this mod. So if you are excited for that, remember to like video, share it around your friends, and do subscribe for more MotoGP F1 and racing game content. So we'll see you in the next one.